Hi, it's Shane McLeod here from Remax Gold in Gladstone and today I'm bringing you on a walkthrough tour of this new listing I have for sale at 10 Wilkins Street in West Gladstone. Really well located, I like this little pocket because it is nice and handy for a lot of the things that people are looking for, such as the Gladstone Hospital is just up the road, the Night Owl Shopping Complex, Park Street Shopping Complex is also only a couple hundred metres up the road as well. You've got the cinemas, Dicey's Irish Pub, the uh, shopping centres uh, all up there, Night Owl, banking, news agency, it's all up there. So everything is nice and handy. And you're only a few minutes also to the CBD. And if you've got high school age students, Gladstone State High is also, uh, again, just across the road from that Park Street shopping complex, really well located, I guess, in a nutshell. Okay, so let's get started on the tour. I'll start as I do always out the front. It is a hot day today, excuse me. If you're seeing a bit of sweat, we're of about 32 degrees and about 900% humidity today. It's been an absolute shocker with the heap of rain that we've had. And you'll also notice that a little bit in the yards as well. It's been hard to get uh, that yard mode uh, with all the rain that we have, have had. So let's turn the camera around, get you started on the tour of 10 Wilkins Street. Um, it's a good solid three bedroom home. Um, it needs, there's a little bit of work there to do in some uh, areas. It is as is. I'll point that out as we go. It will be sold, as I said, as is. All right, let's get started. Okay, if you're thinking this might be a little familiar, there's probably your first clue. I've also got the home next door at number 12 on the market uh, for sale. So, uh, nice little street, as I said, been well established. Uh, this area of town's been here since the mid 60s, somewhere there, a lot of these homes were built. Um, Park Street, up the end of the street there as well, which is one of the access roads to get you right around town. Okay, so as we come round to 10 Wilkins Street, you can see it's definitely of that era, would have been state housing at some point, they were offered, um, offered uh, by the state government to buy on those great early housing schemes. Uh, obviously out of that now, a lot of these are fully privately owned. Um, they're all freehold owned properties, not leasehold as they once were. You can see on this left-hand side, you have got a good parking pad out the front there. If you wanted to get something else into the yard, say caravan or boat, and there is also that left-hand access to get up to the side of the home there as well. I know potential is one of those words thrown around a lot with properties. This really is one of those homes, though. Uh, a lot of the work's been done inside, which you'll see when we get in there. Just needs a bit of love and care on the outside um, as well. Okay, under the home, these were the garage back in the day. It's all battened in, can be secured, but fairly basic. Concrete pad there, some workshop storage over on the side there, and some storage around. You could certainly do some more work there and concrete and do all those bits and pieces as well. Uh, what it does give you a good look at though is the bones of the place. They are all really well built, solid hardwood frames, good concrete piers there. Um, they were battened them all in, obviously, back in the day for drainage reasons and to keep them cool. Uh, as well through the summer before the days of air conditioning. Uh, these homes also got access to uh, town gas supply. These guys are running a electric hot water system, but you can see the old gas system there as well. Certainly if you want to convert your gas, uh, you're cooking upstairs to gas, you could do that as well. But really solid, great bones, so good foundation to build on and do something to suit your own personal needs here. All right, let's get up the other side of the house up through the main entry. It's got your little gate access to the backyard there. So we'll just take you quickly up there. As I said before, with the rain, it's been a little hard to keep on top of the yards at the moment. A little bit of grass about. But decent sized backyard there. Certainly something you could work with, tidy up various types of fencing around the property as well. But it is fenced if you've got pets. 
I want to keep the kids in. Fibro exterior. So if you're asking the question, the aids, they all were built in the late 60s. They are fibro and there is a chance there may be asbestos in them. Obviously only a problem if you're knocking them around and not using the correct protection. Um, I did mention there before some work to be done. There is a little bit of rot in some of these front stairs. I'm a big guy and I can still walk up and down them confidently. Not something that needs doing straight away, but will need doing at some point. You've got a nice little tiled patio here out the front. As you can see, the house is all security screen and doors done. So as we come inside, as I said, this is where you can see a lot of the work's been done. They've actually done quite a bit of painting up here recently. So the inside's all pretty tidy in terms of paint. You've got these beautiful polished floors as well. So they're all done. They look great. So a nice big lounge area on entry to the house. A couple of bits and pieces still here because the owner's come back and forth with work. And that takes you straight on to your kitchen and dining area again plenty of room there for a nice big six or eight seater dining suite and as you can see we're definitely not looking at an original kitchen here for this build of home it's probably done in the late 90s early 2000s judging by that style plenty of cupboard space overheads got a single fridge space there so I guess you could modify that if you wanted to get a bigger fridge in. Um, so there's plenty of room there to do that. Upright electric stove with a ceramic cooktop. Plenty more cupboard storage underneath. You've just got vinyl floors down over the polished floor there. So it doesn't need work done on the kitchen at all, unless you wanted to make changes to suit yourself. But certainly all in good condition okay as we come up the hallway our first room to the left here is the laundry as you can see new flooring's gone down in there they've gone with that nice thick uh, vinyl plank flooring in there it's all basic but it's all in good nick stone the the work uh, needed is quite minimal, mostly cosmetic. You've got storage here in the hallway, linen and a utility cupboard. Come up that hallway to the left. Separate toilet. That's a new toilet that's gone in there. And the bathroom has had an upgrade at some point in the not too distant past as well. So shower over bath, the rail. Your shower curtain, vanity, nice black tile there, tiled from floor to ceiling. Come around to bedroom three, basic bedrooms. Certainly got room to put built ins in, fans and air conditioning. They are all just basic standalone room, but good size. You get queen size beds. In all of these said the, they put up some new curtains the paints all good as we come down the hallway the other two same thing again polished floors throughout and the main bedroom over here and that's just a single bed there as I said these guys sort of come back and forth a little bit with work just stop here um, but easily fit in a queen, maybe even a king if you wanted to put it against that window on that side. But definitely a little bit bigger and you've got all this wall space here to put built-in robes as well. You could configure that any number of ways. There's certainly room on that wall there as well to put built-ins. So again, the potential's there to, to build on what you've got here, that's for sure. Good solid home and all for under two hundred and fifty thousand dollars 
here at 10 Wilkin Street. Forgot to bring you out quickly out the back through that laundry. You do have a ramp that runs down the back here to that straight to the clothesline. Look, this ramp does need some work too. You can see some missing handrails. Um, you know, it's, it's an original structure, so I'd be having a little look at that. A little bit of fencing patching there as well. So as I mentioned, this will be an as-is sale. You're welcome to have somebody have a look over it before putting in an offer. But we're, we're putting uh, putting all this stuff out there so you know up front exactly what you're looking looking at. Home is priced accordingly. Okay, thanks for joining me. You, know, you can't feel this heat and mugginess that I'm experiencing today. Lucky you. Very warm day. But that was 10 Wilkins Street in West Gladstone. Uh, there'll be links within these posts, whether you're looking on my YouTube channel, Facebook or Instagram, which will take you back to the website link with all the photos and more information, pricing and the like there. Uh, there'll also be a link to a 360 degree virtual tour for the property as well. Uh, so you can have a complete walkthrough of the property uh, before you give me a call to inspect yourself. If you are purchase ready, finances are in place, uh, then I'd love to hear from you to organise your inspection of this great property at 10 Wilkins Street in West Gladstone. Great bones, great position, a little bit of love needed here and there. Great price though that reflects all those things. Thanks again. I've been Shane McLeod. Thanks for joining me. Cheers.